Hey guys, and welcome to WWE Interviews here on Stinger Wild, where we bring you all of the biggest names and all of the coolest interviews in the world of WWE and professional wrestling. So in today's interview, we've got two wrestling legends. It's Mick Foley talking to Stone Cold Steve Austin on that I Quit match that he had with The Rock at the 1999 Royal Rumble. The match was brutal. It was right in the peak of the Attitude Era. Halfway through the match, we had Mick Foley falling onto a whole bunch of electrical equipment, almost getting electrocuted. And then nearing the end of the match, it was the 11 chair shots heard all around the world as Mick Foley got totally brutalized by The Rock with handcuffs behind his back, no less. Now, initially, the two guys had agreed to have only five chair shots in the match, but the whole thing just got way out of hand and for anyone who's ever seen the match, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So Mick talks in detail about just what it was like to take all those chair shots and how brutal it was. Uh, question, at what point does a work environment damn near turn into a shoot when you take the barometers off the violence at hand, you know, with all the bullshit that the foreign objects and the hardcore style matches? It, for me, that point was Royal Rumble 99. And luckily, you, you know. And you're going to say WWF rather than uh, yeah, ECW. Yeah, I think so. Um, that's the match that made me turn around. It also happened that it was you know documented on f film by Barry Blaustein Beyond the Mat. And I, I wasn't aware of how out of hand it had gotten until I saw my children react like I, I don't know if i would have thought it was that bad but it was this is the match with you and the rock yeah yeah and it was just violent you know it just got out of hand and it was what was your now because here's the deal you and the rock have a match yeah you get handcuffed and he's gonna hit you with about what five. eight or ten five five, five cheer shots five. it seemed like a hundred when you were backstage watching i was there and man, I watched those first couple, and I mean, he was laying them in because he had to. Yeah. And it was agreed upon. Yeah. I didn't realize how much, how beneficial your body's ability to give. Not not taking anything away from the brutality of a chair shot, but at least when your body, you can give a little bit. I didn't understand it. it's like the Cinderella song. Don't know what you got until it's gone. Once that ability was gone and my hands were cuffed behind my back and that first chair shot came and it hurt me down to my toes, like I realized this was a whole new level of pain. And my reaction to that shot was to f like fi fire up. You know, it was, it was a strange thing. It was a suspension Good. of disbelief. Like I became that character in the worst possible scenario. I became mankind, believing completely in the character with the rock and a steel chair and my kids in the front row and by the time we got to the agreed upon number which was five i'm still in the ring you know like i'm supposed to be two-thirds of the way up the aisle and it took 11 to get up there and uh so it was agreed upon five and ended up five being yeah it just because they kept going on forever when you said five while ago i said dude there's more than that and the the mindset was at the time he was getting ready to work with you right uh, for, for Mania. Right. Uh, Mania 99. Rock was really, he was um, entertaining. He was funny. And I thought we needed to show a meaner side. Like, that was my 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 job. And I wanted to make money while I did it. You know, I had right. no question about that. But I thought that's what I owed the company. That's what I owed the Rock was to reveal that 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 mean streak and we did it you right. know no question that we accomplished that well take me through the 11 chair shots because dude watching that shit backstage uh. was brutal and then when i watched you know beyond the mat your kids are shrieking on camera yeah and they're covering their eyes yeah i mean it broke my heart it did mine too i remember B barry blaustein telling me you know he was like i, I need for you to watch this i said what do you mean He's and from my vantage point, by the time I got back, it was my daughter going, Daddy, it looks like you have a boo-boo. And I said, yeah, honey, Daddy's got a little boo-boo. And she said, Daddy, that looks like a big boo-boo. You know, and on the film, I go, yeah, it, it is a big. They were co completely composed by the time I saw them. I had no idea how 
how upset they'd been. And after all this time, like the strangest thing to me is that I thought it'd be perfectly fine, like for them to watch me get stitched up. You know, like that wasn't a question mark in my in my head. So there you go, guys. One of the most brutal moments in the Attitude Era, no doubt about it. So in this match, we had Mick Foley walking in the WWE Champion, but The Rock would end up walking out with the title because he had made Mick Foley say, I quit. However, it was revealed later, it was controversial circumstances, as The Rock had just used an audio recording of Mick Foley saying, I quit. So Foley never really quit at all. He was probably knocked out for real anyway. He couldn't say, I quit, right? But it has become an infamous moment in the WWE history, featured on the documentary Beyond the Mat. And of course, you'll all remember the moment where Mick Foley's kids were just totally distressed, his wife as well. They were crying at what was happening to their father and husband. And so when the match came to a close, after all the brutality had taken place, they brought out a stretcher for Mick Foley. But to the guy's credit, he walked out without a stretcher. Unbelievable. Just the damage and the punishment and the carnage that that guy, Mick Foley, took in his time in the WWE, especially in the Attitude Era, falling off cells, chair shots, falling onto concrete, this, that, and the other thing. It's amazing the guy is still walking. It really is. Credit to you, Mick. You entertained millions. So obviously in today's landscape of the WWE, something like this would never happen. They do still have chair shots, but they're more just to the back or to the arms or something like that. But they have totally outlawed chair shots to the head. And with all the concussion controversy that WWE has gone through, there is no way that they would ever let anything like this happen. Not nowadays. And I think that is a pretty good idea. It is really entertaining for us fans watching it. I mean, it's just the coolest thing to watch. I mean, it's brutal, it's hardcore, but for the guys getting smacked around the head with steel chairs, you got to think about them for a bit and the damage that it does do. So if you haven't seen the match yet and you want to check out all those brutal chair shots that The Rock inflicted onto Mick Foley, you can check that one out on the WWE Network. It's from the Royal Rumble 1999, the same year of course that Mr. McMahon won the 30-man Royal Rumble by last eliminating Stone Cold Steve Austin. So it's a pretty cool event all in all. you got the Attitude Era running hot, so it's worth checking out. And thanks guys for checking out this video. Remember, like, subscribe if you haven't already, tell a friend about the channel, and we will catch you next time here on Stinger Wild for more WWE interviews. Woo! Thanks heaps guys for tuning into the video. Be sure to drop a scorpion death drop on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome pro wrestling action from the WWE, the WCW and much more.